the Yinny L'Oreal Young Scientist Centre Laboratory Technical Assistant at the Royal Institution. But when people ask what I'm doing in my gap year, that's a bit of a mouthful and likely to be followed up with, so what do you actually do? I could say I teach kids to make bath bombs, which gets straight to the point, but doesn't really cover it. So, here is a brief summary of my year in industry. When I first arrived at the RI for my interview, I don't think even Google Street View had prepared me for the grandeur of this huge pillared building of Piccadilly. And I remember sending my friends a picture of it like, oh my god. But as soon as I got in and met the YSC team, I was much more relaxed. Although I was delighted to get the job, I was pretty nervous. We run science workshops and the presenting was definitely a learning curve. But the team was so supportive, encouraging me but never pushing too hard. I've gained a lot of confidence and discovered I actually enjoy it. I guess who doesn't love being centre of attention a little bit? I'm still no expert at presenting and I sometimes lose my words completely, but there's loads of techniques I've picked up. And as much as anything, I've learnt to just keep going, because when you mess up or embarrass yourself, you can't just stop. We run 12 different workshops for students aged 7 up to 18. Working with the younger kids, I love their excitement and enthusiasm. On the other end of the scale, I found the old groups a bit intimidating to begin with, but their discussions and practicals are much more interesting and in-depth. The science in the younger workshops is obviously very simple, but they keep you on your toes with all their questions. And explaining something is so different to just knowing it. It's really made me think about how I communicate, but also how I actually learn myself. Preparing and clearing up the equipment and chemicals for each workshop, I've gained a lot of lab experience and become much more confident handling materials. Besides the workshops, there's the admin side of things, taking bookings, responding to queries, and after each workshop we have to input the student feedback. And although that's repetitive, after a tiring session, reading their comments really makes it worth it. And I never knew there were so many ways to spell science. Working at the RI, it's been really interesting to get an insight into how organisations like it run, what different departments are involved and how they all fit together. I've met so many interesting people and I love the sense of community. However cliche it sounds, there's a real genuine passion for science communication. And whether it's developing scented paints for Family Fun Day, helping make a world record-breaking lemon battery for the Christmas lectures, or taking YSC workshops to a Butland Science Weekend, there's always new projects to be involved in, and I'm so grateful for all these amazing opportunities that I've had. At the beginning of my placement, I moved to London, first living with relatives and now in a flat share. Alongside learning that block drains don't fix themselves, it's dangerous to go food shopping when you're hungry, and you really need to think about washing before you run out of socks. I've got to know some great people and had a lot of fun. It's definitely been a journey, and while some days this feels more like this, this like this, and life like this. These people have made it so much more like this. On that cheesy end note, I have a few thank yous to make. To the Year in Industry Scheme and my mentor for the opportunity and support. To the RI for being willing to take on an inexperienced 18 year old year after year and being so welcoming with it. And of course, all these wonderful people, especially my YSE family, Dave, Liz, Gemma and Joe.